Okay, guys. Paldea evolved. Yeah, we took a little bit of a break. Hope you enjoyed the last video on there. But now it's time. It's well, it's it's time to get through Paldea Evolve because believe it or not, we got a new set coming out soon. Obsidian Flames. Yeah, yeah. So stay tuned for that. Let's just get right into this. Now they are showing pictures of a Charizard, and it's a dark Charizard, in a matter of fact. And that Charizard actually might be Freed's Charizard because they've been showing off a Charizard for for Freed's Charizard. I think maybe maybe it's Freed's. I don't know because they just unveiled the English trailer for the anime too for Horizons. Oh, that's right. So it it must be Char. I just I assume it's gonna be Freed's Charizard. But yeah, let us know if you guys have seen the new uh, Pokemon anime, and uh, if you like it. Okay, well, let's get into this. Gotcha. I guess I'll just pull from the right side, you pull from the left. Paldea Evolved, man. Like, we've been opening up cards um, uh, off, off camera, and uh, we haven't been doing so good. Yeah. But we, we've had this box sitting around for a while, and... Uh, but I might as well uh, open up this box and see see if we can pull that. I don't know. I for sure still haven't pulled her yet. I haven't either. There's still a few more cards I haven't gotten either. Let's see. I have uh, water. I had fire. But yeah, I mean, do you know any of the new ones that are coming to Obsidian Flames? I haven't looked at the full well, catalog yet. Besides that, that Charizard, the, the dark terrestrialized Charizard... Um, I think one of the the Elite Four members was going to make an appearance as oh. well as one of the trainers. Hariyama is from my last one. Ooh, huh. like and rock. More like like and subscribe. Ha <laughs> ha ha ha. I got a dark energy. Let's see. I got steel. All right, Citadel. Slowpoke. Na Nack Lee. Lit Leo. Lococo. Rock Ruff. Waddle. Palmy. Oh, speaking of Waddle, in the new Pokemon series, Roy gets a Waddle. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. Qu Quatswell. And Churchin. Suguaro. Zwilus. Figuraf. Mousehold. Snover. Weavile. Reb Scott. Uh, Pineco. And Selderidge. I got Jumpluff. Yeah. Uh, if if you again if you if you haven't been following the anime, we've been waiting for for one of the protagonists to to catch a Pokemon. Man, it it felt like they were taking forever. Yeah, but I will say when they did have Roy finally catch a Pokemon, it did feel very Ash Ketchum like the way he caught it because he pulled an Ash kind of you know saw the Pokemon was struggling, attempted to help the Pokemon, and then you know once he helped the Pokemon. Pokemon felt attached to him and wanted to go with him, so it was very, very much so like an Ash Ketchum uh, catch. Yeah. Which, I don't know if they did that intentionally, I'm assuming they did, to make us feel all nostalgic and, oh, we miss Ash, but, you know. Ooh, Beck's Caliber. Nice, I just got an Orthworm. And Tyranitar. All right. Yeah, I really, I really want them to catch more and more Pokemon. Like, it, it feel, it feels like Pokemon hasn't been doing that in a while. Yeah. Especially in Journey. Well, because remember, the Pokemon catchphrase is "gotta catch them all," and we don't really see anyone catching anything. <laughs> but although they, they are doing like a really good story. Yeah, the story's, the story's pretty uh, good on there. We just. We're getting set up with a new antagonist who's not Amethio, the dude with the Cerulege. Right. And this new dude really seems to know what he's doing. So <laughs> I like a good I like a good arc where they kind of have like multiple antagonists, you know, where you think the first one's like really cool and then the other guy comes out and you're like, holy crap, this guy gets it done. Ooh, Slow King EX. That Squawkabilly EX. Nice. Hey. It's that terrestrialized. Nice. I have to sleeve this one. Alright. Next pack. There. Got 
Hookwavel in the front. Also, we're still waiting on that DLC, guys. It still hasn't come out yet. Yeah, for uh, Scarlet and Violet. The um, the first one coming out is the Teal Mask, I believe, right? Correct. That one should be dropping soon. Like they said, fall. Like I think, yeah, I think like fall of this year. So should be within the next few months, hopefully. Program. Uh, Hip and Churchin. Magimite. Makuhita. <laughs> Phalanx. Magikarp. Frasrig. Slowpoke. Slow Zwilios. Faulkner. Spidops. Pyroar. Dendra. Ooh. Falk. I said Falk, YouTube. <laughs> Faulkner. F A L K. Dendra. Pyroar. Surviper. Altar. <laughs> Miss Magius. Azumarill. And uh, Tinkatop. Fighting all late. And Low Kicks. Nice. Next pack. Wow. Man. They, they should really move on to, like, all these Pokemon being on, like, Earth. They should really move to space. Yeah, I think it would be cool doing, like, cosmic Pokemon. Because, like, they kind of did that a little bit in, like, Gen 4, you know, with, like, Dialga, Palkia, and Arceus, you know, being, like, space god time continuum Pokemon. Like, that whole thing was really cool. But I'm also... I'm also biased when it comes to Gen 4. That's my favorite generation because that's the the games I first played growing up. But, you know, like, there's just so much cool stuff they could do with, like, space, you know? They, they really need to create, like, a like a planet. Like, another, yeah. like, planet like, where, like, um, people have inhabited, but they have Pokemon. Yeah, like, honestly, they could do something like that, and it doesn't even... It doesn't even have to be connected to the main Pokemon universe, right? Could like, be, they could just do a spin-off. Yeah, they spin could off. they could do a spin-off, maybe it's set in an alternate universe, right? Or, like, maybe there'll be, a, you know, it could be an alternate universe, or maybe it's, like, people only existed, and then the first Pokemon was born, and now, like, people have to adapt to Pokemon, you know? That would be sick. Because, I mean, uh, the game Arceus Legends is... Legends Arceus is kind of like that because it's like people are still relatively like new to capturing pokemon they're learning how to live with them still and you're kind of like the bridge between that if you haven't played the game Ooh. excalibur that's, Como. oh nice i always thought that he was just a like a guy with um he's that one guy in like the the knight's armor like sun or something oh from uh X, the X and Y games? Yeah. I forgot his name, but we'll throw up a picture of him. He trained Ash's, uh, um, Farfetch or Surfetched in the Pokemon I mean, Journeys, yeah. Or, well, not technically Master Journeys. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. He looks like him. Yeah, a little bit. I can see it. He also kind of gives me vibes of the main protagonist from the Black and White games. Oh, yeah. I forgot the, his name. The hair? Yeah. Right. yeah, yeah, like the hair and like the hat, like the jacket. Alright, I got a water energy for this one. Oh, the same. Nice. Oh, maybe we'll get some good. Alright. Mashif. Paldi and Wooper. Wingle. Ooh, Pooper. Pikachu. Pinko. Pufand. Meryl. Krogunk. Faulkner. Ticket Tinkatuff. Luxio. Gotharita. Luminous Energy. Honch Crow. Ted Bulb. Delivery Drone. Jigglypuff. Bravery Charm. Ooh, I have Boss's Orders. And at the end, a Mimikyu. Which, somewhere here, I have the Full Art Boss's Orders. Yeah, right here. Nice. Pull this from a while ago. Yeah. Oh, I had two of them. Look at that. <laughs> I totally forgot. Wow. Yeah, let us know if you, if you guys have pulled any any good cards from this this set, and also what what new cards you'd like to see in the newer set. I believe Obsidian Flames should be coming out on August 11th. Yeah, so around that time, expect us to post a video on it. That is, if we can find packs. <laughs> <laughs> oh. But I, I do have a video idea of what we should do, which is coming up soon on August 1st. Mm. It's yeah. where the Spider-Man 
three set of from Spider-Man No Way Home mm -hmm. is coming out. And oh, Wu Chan EX. All right. And oh, Chi Yu EX. Oh, whoa, wow, two, hitter. two of them, nice. But yeah, let let us know if you if you guys would want to see that, like us going to the Lego store, purchasing it, and then building the set on this channel. You guys like Legos, yeah, you know. Yeah, we can start getting into more stuff and get a little wacky with it. I did Transformers a while ago when Rise of the Beast was coming out. And honestly, with the newer sets coming out, I might even do another one soon. Who knows? But right. But yeah, but the Lego ones are pretty cool. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah, what, what did you think about Rise of the Beasts, honestly? Uh, in my honest opinion about Rise of the Beasts, um, well, right here, you know, <laughs> don't call it a comeback, but... I mean, Bumblebee <laughs> was, he was okay in the movie. I want to say Bumblebee was like, like, holy crap, it's Bumblebee. Like, right. when you're watching Michael Bay films, you see Bumblebee, you know it's about to go down. And this one, he was kind of overshadowed by Mirage, but I don't necessarily think it was a bad thing because I really did like Pete Davidson as Mirage, mm -hmm. to be honest. You know, he kind of brought that comedic, I mean, like, that comedic energy to the film, but, you know, he could also hold it down when necessary. I think some parts were a little corny, but, I mean, Bumblebee was still badass. He had that, you know, moment towards the end of the film. Right. Um, but overall, I did like the movie. I don't think it's bad by any means, but compared to, ooh, Chiyu. Nice. Flaming Goldfish and Veluza. But, I mean, compared to... The other Transformers movies, as in just the first two Bayverse films, I mean, this one is, isn't as good, but it has some moments I didn't really like in there, but overall, it's it's still a good movie. I, I think I would uh, recommend people to watch it if you're a Transformers fan. I, I just wish that they, they showed more of the, the, the Beast, beast yes. Wars. Yes, that's... Like... Yes. Oh, like, the, like, if they showed, like, a... Uh, like a, a flashback. Well, they did show that flashback in the beginning. Yeah, but I just but... wanted to see more, like more of the yeah. Transformers. Uh, yeah, the, no, yeah. If they were just gonna call it Rise of the Beasts, you know, like they they really should have like showed more of like the beast like Transformers. Yeah, and then getting into a little spoiler territory here, but so click away or mute this part if you don't want to hear it. But basically, the whole time we saw Air Razor, and Air Razor never even transforms, and then they just kind of like killed, like you know, kill the character off like that. It was kind of like, eh. yeah. And I, then I didn't really like that. And then the fact that the few beasts we did get, they oh, Arctobax, they didn't even have any, uh, they didn't even have any lines. Like oh, another Chi Yu. Whoa. Wow. This this box this one I like this really one. Really good. Okay, we're 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 cooking now. I tell ya, or we're going from feast to buffet, because this is all you can pull right now. Steel. Jeez. Yeah, I, oh. I wish I wish we'd get that more more. Um, uh, well, what 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 are the what are the what are, the, what are their names? The, the Terracons. Maximals uh, and the Maximals Pred Predacons. Predacons. Yeah, I, yeah, I wish we would have gotten more of that. Also, them teasing that Megatron toy, man. Yeah, like, clickbait. Like, that was really clickbait. I don't know why they did that. We really thought like they were gonna show like Megatron in there, like a as, like a flashback scene or something. Yeah, or maybe even show up in like the post credit scene, but instead we get a Not GI Joe ending. crossover. But that wasn't even the post credit. That was just the ending of the movie, right? Yeah. Yeah, but. It was nice during that one scene where the battle's over. They're all all the Autobots and Maximals are standing at the the mountaintop watching it blow up, and then uh, you hear you hear that song from the first movie right, when they're coming right. to Earth, arrival to Earth. I think is what it's called. That was a nice that was a nice little callback there. That song always gives me chills. Right. And then on another note. Because it's related to Transformers somewhat, the uh, voice actor for Optimus Prime, Peter Cullen, legendary man, he is going to be voicing a character in Invincible Season 2. 
That's right. I saw that. Yeah. yeah. As well Quavo. as Spider-Man, too. I saw Spider-Man's voice actor um, that yes. voiced the spectacular Spider-Man was in there as well. Yes. People think that there might be a crossover. Mm. I don't yeah, know about which, a cross. in fact, they, they did cross over in the comics. What did the... Spider-Man and Invincible. Oh, yeah. That's true. Which would be pretty crazy, but, you know... How would they do J. Jonah Jameson? Because he also plays on the man. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, he's, maybe, he's literally... Maybe he's will fun at it. Maybe, yeah. Maybe, maybe Spider-Man will be all like, hey, that sounds like J. Jonah Jameson. Or maybe Jameson will... Maybe he'll think of Omni-Man as the one superhero he can tolerate. <laughs> despite the fact he literally killed a bunch of humans. Right. And he's not even human himself. He's built for my foot. Whatever. It'd be pretty cool. A lot of good stuff coming out, and then I did see, you know, relating to Invincible, because, you know, it's a pretty bloody and gory, you know, comic book-esque show. Uh, the Boys Season 4 is, hasn't been out yet, but they do have that spinoff coming out. I think it's called Gen V, where it's about, like, a group of, like, kids going to a school right. to, like, get trained to become superheroes, and it's set in the Boys universe. And, you know, anything The Boys is, I think, is fantastic. I think when I got sick of Marvel... And, like, DC's just been kind of lame lately. Like, you know, I'm, I'm sorry to say it, but The Flash, I didn't really like it too much. Uh, Flash, it, like, it was okay. The like the CGI. Yeah, like, it, like, The Flash wasn't a bad movie, but it's not a great movie. It's just, it is what it is. I mean, you have to keep reminding yourself you're watching Ezra Miller the whole time, but, <laughs> you know. But, anyways, um, you know, like, the way Marvel was going, you know... Nothing was taken seriously anymore. None too, yeah. And then I started watching The Boys, and then it just gives you a realistic approach to superheroes, but it is very, very gory. But right. It's good, it's good. And then season four, they got Jeffrey Dean Morgan coming in. Negan. Nice. From Walking Dead. Alright, well. Come back here, I got a fire energy. We got two packs left each after this. I got a fire energy as well. Nice. Got Noibat. Got Sneasel. Sprigatito. Gothita. Quaxley. Morrow. Charcadet. Oh, Lingle. that's a nice one. He's like sitting and posing there. Toxicroak. Uh, Iono. Fletchender. Necklestack. Orangaroo. Corvus Squire. Artzazon. Quaxwell. Arctic Back. Gothita. And Baxa Caliber. Got High Dragon. All right. All right. Two more packs to go. Well, hopefully these will both be hitters. And then, after this, Obsidian Flames. Oh yeah. We'll be ready on that. Yeah, we gotta gotta get the ball rolling here on that. Watch roll. Yeah, Pommy. Tink Tink. Larvitar. Shrudel. Sandy Gas. Glimit. Tara and Trula. Ice Q. Vigara, Iono, Pinchurchin, Necklestack, Crocolore, Orangaroo, Dunsparce, Tandem Mouse, Trucadet, and Gyarados, and Copper Jaw EX. Nice, nice. I still think I have yet to pull uh, an Iron Treads. Uh, oh yes. That's that's one of my most sought after cards. Just to be certain, I'm going to check. Unless I pulled it one of those days we were pulling cards off camera, but I don't recall. I don't remember either. Yeah, so I don't think I don't think that's one I have. Which would be sad, but if I don't pull it off on camera, then I'll do it off camera. Oh yeah, you can just buy it, like me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> How they evolve. Alright, last pack magic, here we go. This. Grass energy. Alright. Psychic. Alright. I got Relore. Pine Co. Tadbulb. Tinka Tank. Frigabex. Mankey. Tandem Mouse. Delibird. Uh, Jet Energy. Electrode. Fighting Ole. Vigoroth. Mavostiff. Pinchurchin. Jet Energy again. Therapeutic Energy. Uh, Tinkatuff. Tarantula. And for my final card, Sableye. And a Rinkaro. Dang. Or I mean, Rinkario. <laughs> this card looks cool, but... Yeah, but yeah. I mean, we got some... Some pretty good ones here. I got some decent ones right here. I think 
I think this is probably my, the best one I got here. Looking like a big goldfish, the yin yang yeah, eyes. I like the Wu chain. I like this Arctobax too. I like how he's doing like a front somersault. Slow King. The lichen rock cool. cutting up the card itself. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Well, hope you liked what you saw. Yep. And definitely uh, stay tuned for or more for the new set. We're gonna come out. We're gonna try and get more content. We just needed a little break <laughs> here and there. Yeah, that's right. So we'll try and be a little bit more consistent this time with it. All right. All right. See you in the Bye. next one. Bye.